Collectors, Anthony with Hastersnet here, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers Collaborative G.I. Joe X Transformers Autobot Cup with Sergeant Slaughter, and as you can see, um, the box is too big, so I'm probably showing images of basically the box right now. Feel free to pause to, to admire, but uh, of course in the box was Leatherhead, who is not shown here because he's going to stay in package, and... Um, I don't, I don't know the character. I got this because of Cup and Sergeant Slaughter. So, I, of course, it came with the instructions in the Don't Hurt Yourself paper. So, remember, don't hurt yourself. But look at this big guy. Oh, it's it's like Cup is young. Like, it is wow. And um, Sergeant Slaughter is back here on, the, I guess, a command deck. And there's a computer. Let me take Sergeant off of there. Oh, come on, Sarge. Oh, there you go. So, it's like a computer system back there. And then, of course, you can see all this stuff here. Uh, the wheels, um, these are the back wheels for the vehicle mode, uh, and the four weapons uh, are separate in the box. You have to attach these, and then the the weapons are actually in a uh, paper wrapping, you know, so don't, don't accidentally throw them away. But here he is. Now, let's move him to the side here and take a quick look at the sergeant. Now, the sergeant comes with a stand, as, you know, O-ring G.I. Joe figures do. And, of course, he... Uh, this is him, and uh, just classic Sergeant Slaughter. The hat does not come off. Uh, he is rubber band, as you can see. Uh, he comes with his baton, and his articulation is standard for an O-ring uh, GI Joe figure. So he got uh, elbow, shoulder. Uh, he has um, his head is is kind of just there. His waist, um, it's it's on the rubber band, so you really can't go 360 on it. Uh, and then he has knee and waist or sorry knee and thigh i should say so he uh, he did decent movement for uh what is this uh like a three four inch figure so yeah pretty good i love i love like only reason again sergeant slider this is why i get this uh sergeant slider does something hasbro i am watching that live stream even though uh, gi joe isn't really my thing uh yes sergeant slider is like oh classic wrestling so i'll stick him back there and get back to the cup here so here is Cup with the Sergeant, of course, out front here. And um, you see he got some abs here. And when you convert him, remember to move these pieces up. But he can hold his guns, his missiles. Of course, you can stick up here. Or if you want, you can stick them down here on his shins, which um, look like this. And I am not a fan. I prefer them being up at the top. Uh, but, I mean, if you want to keep them there, who will stop you? But they don't really fit very well because they're meant to face the other way. And I wonder, and I haven't tried. Yeah, see, it would just stick up over his feet. So, it's probably best just to keep them up here uh, in the wheel well. So, you can, um, don't accidentally uh, mess them up by putting them by the feet. But, uh, yeah, you can hold these guns and um, it's just fine. And, and he looks real good posing with the sergeant. And, uh... He's so big, it, it's like I'm not quite sure where to stick him. I'm going to try center, uh, but uh, the conversion isn't too hard. It's just getting the last of the pegs together, and uh, so let's just get into it. So we're going to put his hands up in the air, wave them just like we don't care, and we're going to flip them up like this, and uh, I'm going to, best as I can, follow the instructions, and uh, I think I need to turn these like this. And then like this, here we go. And then, so yeah, and like this. Uh, so these end up becoming part of the undercarriage, uh, which um, you'll, you'll see, because then, then they peg in. I might have them back. Oh, no, no, that's right, they fold under. Okay, so we'll pull this off. Uh, before I get too much further, I want to pull these weapons off. Uh, they have a new place on the vehicle mode, and I'll show you them. They're the same weapon twice. So this is the cannon, That uh, there's two of them. So very neat. And then here's a missile. Very straightforward. And yes, they are the same. So you don't have to worry about which side you put them on. And uh, so we'll roll these down. And then we'll put this back up. Because, uh, you know, we, we need it up. And uh, we're going to pull Cup's head forward a little bit. And we're trying to get this... Oh, that's right. I have to pull these shoulders off. Oh, come on. There we go. Pull the shoulders off and then pull this piece out. Oh, wait, is, am I supposed to pull something now? No, it's, it's, there's this whole piece here. There we go. 
And maybe it'll be easier if I do... Yeah, okay, it'll, it's easier for you to break the piece off like this and then do that. But fold his head around, fold it in, and then close this piece back down and this piece back down, and you'll see that it completes it. Uh, it'll only do it at a certain angle, so keep that in mind. Uh, this piece here in front here, I'm going to face forward here. I think it's an antenna. I'm not 100% sure on that, but here we go. Uh, so the arms, you're going to put them in and they're going to close up above his head and they're kind of just going to stay here for right now and I will show you. Uh, so they're just here. As you see, we did complete the back end here and then we're basically moving this stuff out of the way and moving the legs and we're going to slide this up to complete the cavity here and as you see we already got the side of it done so we are going to uh, then do a uh, split his legs like this and then they uh, go in and I'll show this again like this so there we go and then we have to maneuver his legs oh actually you know what don't forget to put the toes away toes away uh, maneuver his legs uh, because we're going to move these panels like this and they're going to slide into here and move this panel to slot into here and uh, then we're going to move the legs back in to kind of fill in now we're not going to put everything together quite yet because we need to get this piece to go and um, I want to remember to pull these pieces out right here and right here before we start attaching anything and then there is under here there is these slots on his crotch piece make sure it's straight uh hold on let's make sure his waist is straight there this will connect to here eventually uh so we'll get to that in a minute so we want to now start putting together the stuff since we pulled these pieces out and um if you want to do it now you, you probably could try to connect the arms to this here to help stabilize it as you're trying to put it together uh, they do a decent enough job kind of holding it in there. And they're really the only thing that I think that really holds it together uh, as far as that is concerned. So, as you see, we kind of have everything loose here. Uh, there is a hitch back here. It's easier if you do it like this. Move the hitch down. And you can see what we're going with now. So, there is pegs here that go into slots. Here, I don't know how well you can see that. There's slots on both sides. And so, the, the goal is, before we snap everything together, that we get everything into place. And we want to make sure that this bit here goes into the crotch. Hopefully the crotch is even. And because uh, if it's not, and then nothing is going to sync up. It's just going to be very weird about it. But uh, as you see, we got that one piece in. We got the other piece in and then it popped back out. This is not an uncommon issue for me. Um, I just think the tolerances are probably a little tight. Uh, but uh, once you get it all in and you can start pushing things backwards, making sure that this piece is connected here. Um, make sure the legs are correctly folded and we will just keep there's a tab here that goes into this slot and you can clearly see what the goal is here and the legs are on some decent ratchets so you know that's pretty good oh you can slide the wheels that are over here forward if you want um, but uh, anyway, trying to clip everything in. Look at that. And it rolls smoothly. Uh, then you can, of course, put these on. Here we go. And then the missiles. And, uh, and then the Sarge himself, you just fold them up, slide them in, and voila, you got the triple T. Look at that bad boy. And of course, in this form, let's make sure that the hitch is down. You can open up the computer. This is where Leatherneck would typically stand, but he's staying in his package, so he's standing nowhere. Now, I don't know the guy, I don't care. Sergeant Slider's while I'm here. But oh, look at that. So, fantastic. Um, this piece here is actually supposed to be facing this way when it was in bot mode, but I forgot to flip it. Um, and there's these two pieces here. Um, 
that actually complete the uh, front end like this, as you see. So something to forget. <laughs> Easy enough to forget, but uh, yeah, it, it's uh, pretty nifty. Very, very, very nice. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.